Okay, let's get started on number one of the independent practice from 2.1. So I have two equations that's called systems of equations right here. Okay, um, I can't graph them. They're not in a form that I can graph. They need to be in a slope-intercept form. Okay, so I'm going to take the first one, x minus 1 half y equals 2, and I'm going to change it into y equals mx plus b. Okay, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides. So I have negative 1 half y equals negative x plus 2. Okay, now I am going to um, try to reduce that coefficient of negative 1 half into 1. So how do I do that? Um, I multiply by the denominator, which is 2, but then, or the reciprocal, but then I also have a negative, so therefore I need to multiply by negative 2, okay? And whatever I multiply on one side, I multiply by the other side. And so um, here we have 2 over 1, and you guys know the inverse property of multiplication, and so that reduces down to 1 and 1, okay? So we have y equals, I'm going to distribute this negative 2, Okay, so there's a 1 here. Negative 1 times negative 2 is 2x. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Okay, now after that, I'm going to take the second equation. 5x plus y equals 3, and I'm going to um, turn it into, or isolate the y. So I have y equals negative 5x plus 3. Now, let's go ahead and um, graph the first uh, linear function. So I have a, a y-intercept of negative 4 and a slope of 2 over 1. So let's go ahead and graph that. Here's my first point, okay, right here. And I'm going to go up 2 to the right one, 1, 2 to the right one. Okay, to the right one, and then I'm going to go up two and to the right one, and then I'm going to go up two and to the right one. Okay, um, and you can see that. And then we can get the graph, kind of make our line like so. Okay. And then let's get the green one. Let's get the green function. So we have y intercept is 3 and m equals negative 5 over 1. So I'm going to start at 3. Okay, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to draw a line here the best that we can. Ah, good. And as we can see, this is the point of intersection right here, that point right there. Okay, and that point could be defined as 1, negative 2. And yeah, that's the correct answer when you check. Okay, easy, very easy.